Let's check out the Auditory System Mini Lab. This short lab requires minimal equipment and gets students acquainted with the key principles of hearing. From how sound waves are conducted through bone and air to reach the inner ear, to how we detect various sound frequencies and intensities. All students need is a tuning fork, a pair of headphones, and an earplug to get started. It's also important that the lab environment remains as quiet as possible, as the activities require hearing quiet tones. The first activity page includes the Rini and Weber tests. These are two classic screening assessments performed with a tuning fork to assess sound perception through air and bone. Students will first predict how sound will be perceived when it's conducted through air versus bone, and they will also think about what will happen when they place an earplug in their ear to simulate conductive hearing loss. Next, students will perform the Rini test, which assesses hearing via air and bone conduction in one ear. They'll repeat this test while wearing an earplug and record their data. All of our instructive images contain alt text descriptions that can be accessed by screen readers and longer, more detailed descriptions in pop-ups for those who want to access them. Students will then perform the Weber test, which assesses how sound is perceived bilaterally through bone conduction. And again, they'll perform the test with and without an earplug. From here, students will analyze and compare their results, learn a bit about the different types of hearing loss, and connect these tests to the anatomy used in hearing. If students need support or background material to help guide them through the questions, they can always access the background information page via the page menu. The final activity is a modified audiometry test using regular headphones. In this activity, students will learn about the various intensity levels of the sounds they hear in everyday life. Pop-ups are available to support students in understanding new terminology. After making predictions about their hearing thresholds, students go through a procedure to calibrate the volume of their computer and headphones. And then students will play sound clips of various sound frequencies that start off very quiet and increase in volume every two seconds. Volunteers indicate when they can hear the sound, and that value is recorded. Then students will refresh their knowledge on the tonotopic organization of the cochlea by indicating where different sound frequencies are detected. In the analysis, students map their results on an audiogram. Students will compare their predictions to their results and assess if there are any differences in hearing thresholds for different sound frequencies. To wrap up the lesson, students will revisit the key structures and concepts in hearing physiology and further reflect on the results of their activities by linking the sound stimulus to how it's perceived by the brain. And that concludes our mini lab on the auditory system. Thanks so much for having a look and we hope you enjoyed this mini lab.